All right, welcome to the April 23rd, 2024 Aries Cloud Agent Python Maintainers Group meeting. Um, I was at IAW last week, so I have no idea what's going on. I have not been following, so I'm hoping to get a good update on exactly what's happening. Um, release 12.1, um, where we are, and Ian just gave me a bit of an upgrade uh, update on where we are on W3C format. Um, and I got to get it consistent VCDM format upgrading where we're going next and so on. Um, we're recording. This is a Linux foundation, a hyperledger foundation meeting. Antitrust policy is in effect code of conduct in effect. Welcome all, please add your name. Any announcements to be made? I think we all know everyone here. Good. Anything to talk about? Okay, let's start with 12.1. How are we doing? Well, should we start with PRs, actually? Let's go there and um, see where we are on these. Um, this is the one that triggers the 12.1 release, right? I think it's this one, is it? Um, let's see. So there's been a few things that have been reported and fixed uh, while you were away. Um, okay. <laughs> most of them were things that Sheldon discovered uh, as a result of failures inside of the Aries Agent test harness. Um, I think this is the final one uh, okay. for the most the the last problem that I, I think there is in in the stack. Um, okay. Yeah. So there's we, there's some issues with how things were being handled for the connectionless exchanges, which, as it turns out, is something that we're not testing in our integration tests. Um, so, okay. um, yeah, this is just the fix. I've got some minor unit test things to take care of um, before this okay. one's ready to go, but uh, it should be just a little bit more time on on just so Daniel, feeding them into you, submission. You mentioned we're not testing these in our integration tests. They're testing them in the AATH, though, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Looks like pretty trivial yeah. tweaks. Um, get these two looking at it. I'll add those two. Anyone else is welcome to look at it as well. And um, okay, so we get that one merged. Let's look at um, just to catch me up on things. Um, whoops, short. Uh, So 2,900 up there is, is one wow. of interest to look at. But. So 12 was done. Um, this was closed. That's interesting. Didn't I say merged? Oh, oh, OK. Okay, so there's 12. So um, dependencies, make doc, fixed act during auto deployment, auto endorsement, chill. There. Okay. And a bunch of dependencies. Boy, dependencies have been flying in, eh? Okay, so we've got these to go out, and we want to go in a 12 1. Um, this one, obviously, 2908 goes in a 12 1. Um, so, two questions. I guess we just do a 12 1, and then we do the 1.0 from that, might as well, versus um, um, patching, doing it with both. And and um, okay, cherry picking. So we won't do that. Um, Akif, do we want this one in there? Um, what kind of a deal is this one, or should we leave it? Um, it's not really. It doesn't really affect anything, and the tests are passing. So 
it should be fine. Okay. It just does a bit of cleanup. I don't think it'll break anything. All right. Um, but, oh, if you, but if you want to be cautious or proceed with caution, then we can wait till after. It's not a big deal. Um, you still got marked, or did I mark it as review? In, I think we we put it back into review into draft because we wanted to wait until after. Okay, Daniel, what are your thoughts on that one? Uh, I haven't looked too closely, but it seems to be a pretty innocuous change. This could be famous last words, though. So yeah, I know. <laughs> we don't yeah. want to do Emiliano's. Uh, we won't do this one. This one's not ready yet. I believe this one, yeah, it's assigned to Patrick. Okay. Um, Daniel, do you want to take a quick look at that and then decide? Um, do you have enough time to to do that? Uh, notice Ian has already gone through it and approved it. So um, let's move it off of draft. Um, but Daniel, feel free to move it back into draft if you'd prefer. Sure. Okay. All right, so we'll do those two in preparation. Um, and then, as I say, now that IAW is done, I'd like to get um, a 1.0 tagging done. Um, Jamie, all of yours are ready to go once we did, once we were were ready for a, a 1.0. Yes. Um, kind of the upgrade endpoint. They're still like. A question of if we can cache that one. It's like a super simple database value, but it's getting queried in the middle where it, there was a comment from uh, Ian. Okay. So I don't know if we have to do anything there or not, or if there's anything we can do. But um, other than that, I think it's pretty much it is ready. Ian, do you want that change made? Do you think it's? Well, it was, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure like how practical it is or if it's even possible, but we're, we're monitoring when we're in the middle of an upgrade, we're monitoring any admin API calls. So we're not allowing admin API calls during the upgrade, but right. if, we, if we receive a message from another agent, that'll still get processed. Right. Okay. So my thought was we just leave it in the queue until the upgrade is done, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not familiar enough with that whole process for you. I can look at it again. I haven't been looking at it just when we we're getting this patch release out, but my thinking, I thought that message still went through the, uh, middleware. So I, that's what I was thinking, but. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if it goes through the middleware or not. Cause it's like the middleware, like, uh, I guess there might be. Anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Anyway, I can look at that again, but after okay. the patch release. But okay. it's, it should be pretty close, I think. <laughs> Excellent, okay, good. And then um, Daniel, um, this one. Um, uh, yes. Can we go ahead? Uh, yeah, we'll need to do a quick rebase and, and make the poetry yeah, doc yeah. file happy, but, uh, yeah, this should be in a pretty okay. good spot. So once we merge this one, anything we do on 12 becomes a, um, a patch. So, um, as in a, a, a patch branch, is that what you a mean? A patch branch. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm thinking is we wouldn't we wouldn't put this one into a 12 one a 12 two for example right. the goal would be not to have a 12 two <laughs> so hopefully we've had enough feedback um from the community that would get us past that is that everyone is in sync with that yeah i've been keeping an eye on discord channels uh been a little yeah. bit more responsive to some of the questions that have come up just to make sure that they're not like issues with the release itself. Um, right. I think those have slowed down. Uh, I Good. 
uh need to follow up with sheldon on making sure that the fix that i've got in takes care of the last of the issues with the connectionless exchanges that he was seeing yeah um but yeah okay so far the 0120 release for everything that we've been using it for inside of indicio has been working pretty well um it's just been some of those edge cases i think so hopefully that uh Emilio, you know, have you heard anything from lucas on our side on that no, I haven't had a chance to to touch base yet. Then he hasn't reached out, so I assume things are okay. But I'll yeah. I can touch base today. Okay. Okay. Um. Is this the maintain? Yeah, this is it. Um. So Ian, you're following up with Golda and and the rest of the what's cooking on where they are with this. We've yeah, I'll come. make sure I'll make sure I connect with her this week. Okay. Chase her down. Yes. Um Okay. Um what's the next priority? I think 1.0 getting it out is the next priority. Um I might do again. <laughs> I just feel like I've been away for so long. It's been a whole week and a day. Um, we had a, a full day workshop yesterday that that I attended. So um, it's been a week and a day. So I'm not fully up to speed on anything, but I think I'll go through um, issues and take a look at what's next. Um, there was one small issue that was reported on um that i'd i'd like to fix it's like a trivial thing i just made a little mistake on that big pr um this public i got my schemas mixed up with a non-creds and non non-creds for just one endpoint oh okay that fourth one so okay. i'll just fix that quickly and it'd be nice to get okay. that in the patch release it's should be really simple okay Okay, so that one as well will be in. Okay, yeah. let us know when that's done. Okay. Okay. Good. And then I've noticed the the ones on both this, uh, the test plan and the plugins that I just haven't had. Do, do people want to talk about that? I have not had any chance to look at anything on that. So uh there's a bunch of conversation about how to change how we're testing stuff, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think the probably the next step with that one is just to come up with some kind of a strategy. So this is how we want to approach testing, and then you know we can deal with it from there. Okay. I, think, I mean, I think there's lots of good conversation in there. Maybe Stephen, if you have a chance to take a look through it, and yeah, you know, once you've had a chance to take a look through it, we can probably circle back and just come up with. Like I think, you know, how we want to use unit tests, what we want to focus on, what we want to focus on with integration tests, what we want to focus on with the AATH. Yeah. I think, you know, one of the main things is that we just need to, like as developers, we need to look at the AATH regularly and not just rely on yeah. you know, word of mouth when something breaks there. Like we need to be able to be um, more proactive about that. Just, I, I do keep a fairly good eye on it and I only, you know, I'm always looking for when I can merge it and, you know, when when I can merge an update. So I, I don't merge it when bad, th big, bad things happen and try to let people know. Um, but I think like as developers, like yeah. those of us who yeah. are actually, you know, updating code tend not to yeah. DH, which uh, Yeah. Okay. I think we need to, and, you know, maybe, you know, either we need to, I'm not sure what schedule they run on, but probably we could run the act by act by one daily. Yeah. Um, they go three times a week. Yeah. And then I just post to when I see something that's, you know, a big difference from the last time. So if anything ever goes completely wrong, I'm, I'm posting about it. So. Um, I don't think you're missing all that much in that, but there is some subtlety and there was some and and having um, there's probably ones that hadn't been running for a while. And that's probably why we're seeing these. There might be gaps as well, though, too. Right? Like, exactly. Like, that I'm sure not being covered anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, well, let's plan on talking about that at the Acapug next week. And um, then let's have everyone sort of take a look at at least this and weigh in um, on on this issue and, and be prepared to have a conversation next week. Okay, any other, um, Emiliano, I assume you, you've got your uh, pull request. That's not quite ready, um, but we'll do that after the 12-1. Tw the yeah, I think it doesn't need to be in the 12. It would be nice if I managed to finally wrap it up before one, just because it has some backwards compatibility. Yeah. Things. Yes. Well, okay. I'll, I'll try to focus on, on getting that wrapped up one way or another. It's just... Yeah. It's been a challenge. Yeah, you did figure out how you you found out yeah. where it's failing, and therefore, once you do that, it's I presume much easier to figure out what to do about it. Yeah, yeah. No, I have a way forward. I know how to okay. refactor the methods that are guilty of not working right now. I just haven't okay. had a chance to to do the work. Okay. All right. Any other topics to go over? I had a quick one to bring up. Um, so we've marked a few things for deprecation. Yeah. Uh, connections protocol, issue credential v1, present proof v1, yeah. um, and the did solve message type prefix. Um, did we have thoughts on when we wanted to schedule those for removal? I, I assume we don't want to remove any of those at 1.0 since it's only been a single release that they've been deprecated. Yeah, um, I, I think it's post 1.0. One, 1. Okay. Yeah. I, I like we, the, I like the idea that Daniel had like about moving them out as plugins. Uh, it's a bit yes. more work than just removing stuff. At the same time, it gives us the flexibility of not being there with like, you know, dr drowning in in changes on the business side of things. Yeah, which you know is not as fast as we are usually. I I think that's another topic actually. Um, that we should plan on talking next week, which is, uh, Jamie, you're doing a bunch of work in the plugins repo to get that releasable and in and in a way. So maybe you could plan on doing an overview of what you've done. Yeah. Yeah, I have some comments with Wade and there's an open yeah. PR. It's not ready yet, but if you want to comment there too, there's a little bit of conversation going on, but. Okay. And that leads to exactly what Emiliano said, which is we can start shoving things over there. And I think that's a really clever idea. Can we can we keep them clearly separated, though, from ones that are actively used? Because we don't want to encourage people to be using them either, right? Well, they're, they're, I, I don't see anything wrong with people wanting to maintain them as long as they can, as long as they want to. Um, well, the problem, and, and that's the point of having them in plugins. But I think if people are maintaining them in their yeah. agents, then they're dependent on other people also maintaining the same protocol in other agents as well, right? Well, that's true. Whereas if yeah. we discourage and deprecate it, like the sooner we can get like yeah. away from using them, the better. Yeah. Which reminded me one other comment I was going to make after Daniel started, um, which is let's get on the Aries working group. Um, at least to now make sure that everyone's aware we've deprecated mm -hmm. all of these these protocols. So, if, if, are you going to be on the call tomorrow, Daniel? I should be. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it would be worth doing an announcement with the list and putting and putting it into the the minutes of the meeting to let make sure everyone knows. Yeah. Yeah. Um one one thing, this is for Jamie mostly, just mentioning it, because I talked to Andrew when we were at IW about the plugins and the releasing of plugins. He seems to think we might have a way of like packaging them and releasing them, not on PyPy, but like on the GitHub um, uh, package repository in a similar way as PyPy would. So maybe touch base with him. Uh, it might have been something that I conveyed badly and he thought something different but it might be worth um touching base because if that is possible that's probably the ideal scenario then we can install them yeah okay. if you want to take like that open pr would be a good spot to do it because 
Wade commented and then I commented. We're kind of talking about that now. I I don't think I have to change okay. very much my work, but that's kind of the, where the conversation is now, exactly how to publish or package or name these things. So, okay, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll check it out. Um, I have not had a chance to look into the issues yet, so I apologize if it's been said already. I think the best way to do that, um, Emiliano, would be to you have a meeting with the three, like you, you, Andrew, and Jamie, I think would be the best way to connect them. Okay, I'll I'll try to set that up yeah. soon enough, and, and I'll and I'll look at the PR that Jamie has open and 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 go from there. Yeah, perfect. All right, seven minutes before the next meeting, an eternity. All right, time to make more coffee. <laughs> I think I might have had enough. All right, folks, have a good one. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Thanks. See ya.